Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're doing the ECM to Apple today slash six weeks look for today's uh, second video. It's going to take us into the second half of March. Can you believe it? Wow, 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 good face with me. I don't know. And uh, well, I shall get to that for you in a moment. Just say that first. A video say for 6 a.m. upload. And we've also got weekend forecast 10 to 14 there coming up for you later on this afternoon. Please like, share, subscribe on the vid. Thank you so very much, everybody, for doing that. Thank you so much to ecmdev.int as well for supplying the charts. Thank you so much, EC. Right, let's start off with the week one mean silver pressure anomaly. This is for uh, next week. We'll take us from the 13th to the 20th of February. The uh, coming week, we'll see a lot of high pressure across many parts of Europe, the uh, UK, and Ireland will be including that. By the way, this is um, a forecast uh, for the UK and Ireland. We do the uh, extended um, European outlook for the next six weeks on a Tuesday with this model. Updates twice a week, you know, on a Monday night and on a Thursday night. Right, this is the week one mean cell pressure anomaly. We have again above average heights, high pressure dominating across many parts of Europe. So high pressure is in the ascendancy there. So very mild next week with uh, temperatures above average by about 1 to 3 degrees on the temperature scale. And uh, drier than normal <laughs> across much of Europe, the UK. And Ireland is, in <coughs> excuse me, is including that. Of course it is. Right, week two will be the 20th to 27th of February. Here we go. High pressure on the move a little bit for the final week of February, pushing out to the west of the UK and Ireland. Low pressure dropping into Scandinavia and northeastern Europe. Could start bringing a little bit more of a northwesterly alignment to the jet stream and uh, wind flow there. The 500 mil bar height normally looks like that with, I'm oh, so sorry, above average heights sitting just to the west of the country. Chopping below average heights digging in to the far north and the northeast of Europe. Temperature anomalies are still a bit above average, especially in the north, near a normal further south. I think this is a cooler week though, cooler, not cold, but cooler compared to uh, week one. In week two... And you'll see on most of the driving average side, especially so to our west. Right, week three <laughs> will be the 27th, February 6th of March. Here we go. Um, so high pressure just close to the country. It is a weakening signal. We've got some lows, some low down to south. So it's a weak signal there uh, as we go into the beginning of March. 500 millibar height and only has uh, above average heights, high pressure close to country, but maybe starting to shift northwards. Could that be starting to bring the winds in more from a northeast direction? Remember, if we get the sun's traffic warm next week, we are looking at like end of February, beginning of March, but potentially the first sort of tropospheric uh, responses, which would be via blocking, of course. Uh, the temperature anomaly is close to average, still a bit above average around the coast, that's due to the warm sea some temperature anomaly, so I think we're cooling down now as we're coming into the beginning of March, and uh, precipitation wise we look like that, so a weak signal but dry on average, especially so to our north. Right, week four will be the 6th to 13th of March, here we go, oh, 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 dun, dun, dun. we've got some lower pressure to ourselves, some higher pressure is building to the north. Let's have a look at the 500 millibar heights. Dum dum dum! This is a proper classic negative LEO signal. Uh, higher pressure to, to the north, lower pressure is to the south. Jet stream probably going to be coming in, something like that. We could be starting to bring in wind from the east with that. Could that be turning colder? Let's have a look at temperature anomalies. No still for it to be cold, but it's definitely like cooling compared to where we are in week one. By week four, we're definitely, you know, either average or no signal. Possibly we could be cold by then, I think. And the precipitation anomaly shows that it's wetter to the south. That's where all the low pressure testing again. Drier to the north, but because we've got blocking to the north, I think that's definitely a uh, tropospheric response we're seeing there to the strap warming. Right, week five will be the 13th to the 20th of March. Oh, 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 sorry, 
everyone. High pressure to the north, low pressure south. Could that still be bringing the wind from an easterly direction? 500 millibar heights again blocking around Green and Iceland. Drop of low pressure to the southwest. Um, you know, it could be getting cold and wintry there. Temperature and knowledge are actually a little bit colder than average. Just to our north. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> and uh, precipitation wise, so it's drier to the north, wetter to the south. It's a little bit wet through uh, the UK, actually, and Ireland. If it's cold enough, could that get some snow? It's only middle of March, so it's not inconceivable if the air was to be cold enough coming up from a colder source. Could that precipitation bear be snow? Dum dum dum! I don't know. Week six finally be the 20th, 27th of March. How's it looking? There it is. Still blocked, really. High pressure around Greenland, Iceland. Low pressure still. Uh, to the south, you know, over to the south of the country, you could still be bringing wind from a northeasterly direction. It could be hinting at a cold march, shall we? Well, 500 millibar heights again, blocking around Greenland, below average heights through there. Um, maybe we could be bringing a wind from a northeasterly direction or something with that. Temperature anomalies, again, are colder than average just to our north. The hints are there. And precipitation-wise, so uh, wettest weather is to the south, from the Azores in Spain, Portugal, driest around Greenland, ice in Scandinavia. It all looks blocked. Um, could we have a cold march on our hands here? Could we, could we, could we? I don't know. We'll keep you updated. Woo! Ooh, interesting this week, wasn't it? Interesting. Um, right, thank you so much. That's this week's ECM Dev for today. Slash six weeks ago, done and dusty. Thank you so much to ECMDev.int and supply the charts. Thanks, EC. And uh, we're going to be back later on. So sorry, everybody. We're going to be back later on with the uh, weekend forecast and a tent of all team there. So keep checking back for more for uh, this week's uh, EC for today uh, forecast for the UK and Ireland. That's all for now. And thanks for watching. Bye for now.